pressure. You need to chill out. Welcome back to the channel. This is Preston with Upstairs Basement. Today we got some goodies. I ordered some HS5s used off of eBay and they came in the mail with a few defects, but I contacted the buyer. He was very generous. He gave me a partial refund of $128, which brought that total down to 158. Now I did a sound test and they seem to be rattling at high volumes and I definitely did not want that. I started out just by replacing the dust caps. I thought that was gonna fix the issue does not dust caps do not do anything for the sound they simply just keep dust out of the speakers so i ordered some new woofers <laughs> Ta -da! and while i'm at it let's replace the acoustic treatment inside of the cabinets to see if we can make them sound better wow these are really pretty when they're brand new i'm excited now replacing woofers seems to be like one of the easiest things ever take the old ones out unplug them plug these in but um replacing the acoustic treatment that's gonna be a little tricky but i think it'll be fun now these are the acoustic pads that we got for the inside of the speakers they're one foot by one foot simple acoustic foam panels i just got them on amazon cool now i watched a video on youtube actually of a guy explaining how to replace the acoustic sound treatment inside of the cabinets and apparently it's supposed to enhance the low and mid frequencies to give your speakers more definition now i've never heard of that before but a lot of reviews and comments say that it really does improve the sound of your speakers and helps your mixes translate better to other systems i really want to learn how to build my own speakers so i feel like this was a step in the right direction i'm gonna go ahead and start taking these speakers apart you want to use a three millimeter hex key to take the screws out of the woofer and the tweeter. Pressure, you need to chill out. We got all the top screws taken out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this piece here. And for this part, you're gonna need either a screwdriver or a power drill, which I took downstairs. Great. These should just pop out really easily. Like I should simply be able to just turn it and yep. It'll just slide right out and it should be the same for this tweeter now i believe you just pull these suckers right out doesn't want to budge jesus uh. we're gonna need to disconnect this piece on the inside i'm gonna flip this over to the back you only have to take out the ones around the corners now this should slide right off I didn't know a speaker looked like this. It's kind of cool. There is barely any acoustic sound dampening material in here. So it's really not doing anything. So we're gonna go ahead and peel all of that out. And whatever's left in there, I will scrape it out and sand it down. For this part, I'm just gonna try to get some of this glue out. Just gonna use a chisel and a hammer. Just nice and lightly try to pry up some of that glue. There are these little notches all throughout here. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure this real quick, figure out where these notches are so that way I can go ahead and cut my acoustic panels to fit in there snugly. Okay, so I pre-cut all of the acoustic panels. That way I can show you guys the dimensions of each one. This way it's much easier for y'all to measure and cut the panels. We're gonna start out with the left side. If you bend the panel just a little bit, it'll allow you to get it in there much easier. All right, now onto the right Pressure. side. You need to chill out. I had to cut a little extra piece for this one. And here's the top piece. I'm cutting a little bit off for the bottom piece here. Gonna put a few filler pieces in here. And then now I'm just gonna draw out the circles here so that way it's easier to cut. 
I'm using a hole saw, but you can use a box cutter, any type of utility knife or scissors. Now I'm cutting these holes so that the tweeter and the woofer can fit right through them. I'm going to use the box cutter here to make room for the blue and yellow connection. And I'm also going to cut a little bit down here to give room for the red and black connection. Now it's not necessary to glue all the panels in because they fit so tightly against the notches, but I am going to use some liquid nails here just to glue the front panel in. I want to make sure it's nice and flush against the wood there. So when I put the tweeter and the woofer in, it doesn't move the panel at all. We're going to slip in the back plate here and screw it in. Connect the two wires here on the front. And now we're going to place in the tweeter. You just want to connect the blue and yellow wires in the same way that you took them off. We're just going to make sure it's nice and tight here. Go ahead and open up our new woofer and connect the red and black cords as well. Make sure it lines up here. We'll go ahead and screw it in and then throw the black plate right on top. Pressure, you need to chill out. They're done. They actually look really good. I mean, they look like they're brand new speakers. I'm gonna go ahead and plug them in, make sure everything is working properly and sounding good. And uh, we'll do a quick sound test. I'm gonna play them at a low volume and a high volume just to see if replacing the woofer actually did help the rattling at high volumes. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick sound test. We have lights. Let there be lights, Willow. Let there be lights. Uh, picture that DBS in the driveway. Monday, BVS, and they all hate. Bad bitch, wanna be a freak in the hallway. But I don't wanna do it in broad day. I don't like it when you base it. I beat your drum, let the bass hit. At high volume. There's no bass hits. My bitch, bitch, face it. Roll it up, don't lace it. New balance, no AC. I've been the shit since the age of six. Pull my bitch in a Honda Civic. Cause we gotta do it and we wow. gotta get it. These sound amazing. I don't know if it's the new woofers or the acoustic treatment. Maybe it's the combo. The low end is nice and crisp. The mids and the highs are just opened up like crazy. It's like I'm hearing the music how it's supposed to sound. If you're looking to upgrade your HS5s, I think this is a great way to do it. It's very inexpensive. It helps you learn a little bit about how a speaker's made. But yeah, I think my mixes are gonna translate much better after these upgrades. I would have done like a before and after sound test, but it would have been difficult to hear it through phone speakers anyways. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments below if I should do anything else to them. I was thinking about painting them maybe. I know that might affect like the resale value, but I'm not gonna sell them anyways. I also just picked up these guys for free. So if you have an idea of what I should do with these, I kind of want to do something cool with them, use them for decor or actually try to get them working and make them usable speakers in the studio. I might do a video on taking these apart and having fun with them. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. And um, I'll be back next week with a new video. Thank you guys so much. Hope you all have a good weekend.